Okay, so welcome to Talking with Paul, episode two. Um, my microphone isn't working, or I couldn't figure out how to get it working. Like something's wrong, either something's wrong with it, or I'm stupid. So I'm just using my phone this time, and uh, it's a little overcast and dark out, but it's really nice, and the sun might come out as well. It might like light everything up and be really nice, so we'll see. Either way, I'm just gonna go for a walk and talk about some stuff. And uh get some more experience. The first one was um pretty good in my opinion. I enjoyed it, I laughed a couple times. Uh I liked where I like ran across the little bridge thingy and uh, I don't think I was too boring. Like it was, I thought it was kind of entertaining and anyways, I'm going to keep trying, we'll see how it goes. This is attempt number two and this time, or I guess it's the first subject, the first episode was like an introduction, I mostly just talked about like myself and learning new things, but uh, I guess the first subject in the second episode that I want to talk about is something new that I've discovered recently, it's been out for like, I don't know, maybe close to a year now, but I just discovered it recently and it's called Steam It. Uh, if you didn't understand what I said, I'll like put a link for like the proper typing, like the letters and everything, down below. And uh, it's kind of like Facebook and Reddit, except you can actually make money posting stuff. And in like around a month of posting, I've made like $120. And a lot, some people like make way more because they have huge followings. And what I made isn't very much at all, but I mean it's something. And it's very interesting because I've been posting this kind of stuff for free. Like on, on Facebook and other places, like not making anything. like. All that goes to like the investors of Facebook and stuff like that. But this is, and the best way that I can de describe how it works, and I don't totally understand it, but the best way that I could describe it is like everyone is investing in a corporate or a stock, and uh, when people cash out, the value goes down. But when people participate and invest in it, um, it grows. So, I mean, for <laughs> all I know, it could be like a, a great big pyramid scam, and as ironic as it is, like I'm hiking pyramid rock right now, so like that's interesting, but not that, that means anything at all. I mean, I would say one of the best things about like the fact that it's probably, and I mean, everyone will get mad at me and they'll be like, no, it's not a scam, but like a lot of people don't really understand how it works yet. Apple came out and they accepted it as a cryptocurrency, which to me, that's like a pretty big deal. Like Apple, I think, is the biggest like tech company in the world. I'm not sure, but they're one of the biggest. So I mean, for someone that big to be getting on board, like I think it's legit. And I'm not even like thinking about crashing out. Like I want to power up and like get more influence. And uh, but at first, like I did the other way and like I made a little bit of money but I want to just like grow and grow and I'm not even really concerned about that anymore like I'm just looking at it as a new platform to replace Facebook where people actually like get compensated a little bit for the artwork 
I mean, it's not that crazy of an idea. Like, YouTube uh, pays their people as well through, like, AdSense and views and stuff, and they also go further with, like, like allowing them special deals and things like that. So it's uh, a really interesting concept, and I think it's the future, and I'm not even worried too much about making money on there. I just, I want to see, like, better technology replace older, shittier technology where, like, a few people have way too much power and, like, wealth concentrated. And there's some other interesting things, too, about this platform that I really like. And one of them is, it's, like, something called blockchain. I don't totally understand it. But based on what I've heard, it's, like, impossible or really difficult to censor. So, like, when you post it, like, people can downvote it and, like, make it less seen, but they can't, like, no one can delete it as far as I know. Like, it's there. So, like, I've had a lot of stuff censored on Facebook, whether it's, like, nudity or victims of war or victims of, like, animal abuse. Like, I've had a lot of shit, like, censored. I've been banned, and, like, I just don't really see something like that happening on Steam that like it's uh, it seems like a much better community like the people are very like-minded seems like a lot of them are also like freedom type people like maybe even you could say anarchists yes a lot of them are anarchists so I mean if you're someone who maybe you've seen me posting about it on Facebook Maybe you should check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. Like, I had one other friend who's also a movie maker, photographer, and, like, he signed up and made some good money on the first couple of posts of his as well. So, not just me. There's a lot of people. Like, I suggest going on YouTube and just, like, watching some videos. Like, there's a lot of people talking about their experiences. And I haven't really seen too much negative like there's a couple here and there people will say it's a scam and that it's blah 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 but over like overwhelmingly <laughs> the the vibe is very good and positive about this and i would totally suggest people to check it out you don't need to like invest any money or anything you can just like sign up and start using it and if you make money you can cash out if you don't want to like keep doing it like you have no obligation to stay. Uh, it's very free. Very open and free, it seems like. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's getting dark. I wonder if we're gonna get a sunset. Damn it. I think I got up here too late, also. We'll see. GoPro handles low light pretty well, but I mean, it's just... <sighs> Blah. So, I guess a little more... I just talked for, like, ever without stopping. Like, <laughs> okay, a little more about Steam It. So far, I've made, like, $115 posting my photography like most of it was from my pictures and they weren't all like really good pictures like a couple of them weren't that good they were like older pictures one had like lines in it and, like um, some of my better pictures didn't make as much but you can make money posting like anything you would post on Facebook for the most part like I probably made five dollars posting just like regular status updates like text talking about things that I'm interested in and uh, another way that it works this is something that you should understand is that it took me like a, a little while to figure this out like maybe like a couple days so like a week to figure it out where am I going but the way it operates is like based on how much like steam power or whatever you have is like how much 
you can award to other people in a sense. So they have what's called like minnows, which are the new people. They don't have much power. And there's dolphins, which are like kind of in the middle. And then there's uh, whales, which are like people who can reward you with like a significant amount of money. So it is a little weird. Like sometimes your really good posts won't make any money or they'll just make a couple cents. But sometimes like your cringe weird posts will bring in like a lot of money just because one of these powerful people like saw it and liked it. And yeah, I know it's not the most perfect system, I'm sure. A lot of people have issues with it. I've read a lot of posts about people who have different ideas and such, but for now, like, I think it's a, a great step forward uh, in regards to like Facebook and the other platforms. Because I may have said this before, but I never made one cent posting in like six years or five years or however long I've been on Facebook. And like my first post on Steemit, where I basically just said hi and like introduced myself, made a couple dollars. So the very first post alone, <laughs> I made more than I ever made in years and years and years of posting on Facebook. And there's a lot of potential there. Like it's really fascinating if you just deeper down into the principles of it because it's like kind of how it should be like people should be well in a sense like not the whales and stuff like maybe there can be something there where that can be like fixed a little bit better but generally people should get rewarded for their work like if people like it at the very least like Facebook should have a donate button or something there so that people could and they probably will in time as Steam it gets more popular or other platforms try to mimic it and like compete. They'll eventually probably put an option there where like you can donate to the person who posted that and like it'll directly show like this person has made this much money for this post. I mean I'm sure eventually that'll happen. But right now you can't. And uh once again Facebook is still kinda like in bed with government and consolidated power and wealth and it's like not as much free speech they ban a lot of stuff I just I think it's good to just keep moving towards more freedom in the ways that we can and I've already been posting uh, significantly less on Facebook I'm trying to replace it more with posting on Steemit Okay, so, um, it's getting dark. <laughs> I don't think the sun's gonna come out. I might talk a little bit more as I hike and blah blah blah, but 
Uh, there's probably not going to be much more interesting content after this. I said most of what <laughs> I had to say about Steam it. Can't really think of too much else about that right now. So, uh, thanks for joining me on another episode. And hopefully, I'll continue to get better and more interesting. God, I keep saying interesting too much. I hate that. Hopefully, I will get more entertaining and enjoyable to watch. Because I know I'm kind of monotone sometimes and I don't have a lot of like excitement in my voice. So I'm working on it. I want to do like more spoken word poetry as well, so that'll help. Like I need to really work on my vocal skills a lot in like different ways. Before you know it, we'll all be gone. Oh, wasn't that optimistic? Everyone loves to hear that. But maybe there's more spiritual stuff going on. Maybe we never are really gone. Maybe we just change in a different form. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. All these different forms, everything from the same source expressing itself so differently, perhaps even infinitely, sometimes disgustingly, and other times exquisitely and beautifully. What a fucking mystery. Indeed. I don't think anyone can ever know this one. No flurry. Let's try though. Let's see, different little parts here and there. Everywhere and nowhere. All that is all is all that is all. That is all that has been and it is all that will be. Alright? As with us so below, you know, you know.